All right, let's do it. We're back in it. Playing some more Renekton. We are against... Oh, God. We're against Pantheon. Not going to be the most fun matchup ever. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can still play this matchup out with Longsword if you want. But I'm probably just going to grab Ninja to Abby and just uh, be, you know, super safe in this matchup. Not have to worry about anything too annoying. I'm, I'm going to run Ignite now. I don't know. I've been kind of complaining about teleport. If you watch my stream, you obviously know. But I've been complaining about teleport. I just don't think it's as valuable as it used to be. I mean, obviously not since we got nerfed. But I just don't see that much value in it. Because the, the way I end up like laning so many times, I don't use my teleport to come back to lane. Because like, the lane's set up correctly. So it's like pushing back to me as I come. So there's not a point to teleport to a wave like that. So there's like half the time I'm not TPing back to lane, so it's like I'm not using the efficiency of the of the teleport. And then the other half is like no place to make in bottom because it takes like four and a half seconds to finish your teleport. So the way I think about it now, I don't know. Ignite might be better. I'm not sure. I'm going to try Ignite for a little bit and see what we do. Uh, obviously, it's still really exploitable in terms of like map plays later in the game. Like, you know, it's really easy to draw me to cover someone as he splits and then that guy TPs and I can't follow. Like... That's a really bad situation. But anyways, let's get into how to play this lane. So my whole goal here is to spam my Q in exchange for his mana. So if he's going to throw... I don't know why he's so afraid. So if he's going to throw his spears at me... Why is he so afraid? I think he's going to wait till a couple levels to throw spears. I, I, don't, I don't know. He's not throwing spears right away, which is kind of odd. There we go. Because typically I want to trade my Q for his spear. So I just want to constantly be spamming Q, and that's how I'm going to sustain. Because this whole point of this lane is for me to sustain through his mana pool. So that's all I'm trying to do here. Get that shield block down. Nice. Oh, nope, not getting it. Finish up this push. There we go. I can get my ward down in about 10 seconds here. There we go. Drop that bad Larry. So he's got level 2 now. He's using a lot of his mana. He might have just decided to not even bother, because honestly, you don't have enough mana to harass the Renekton down when you go when he goes cloth five. You just simply don't. If I spam my Q and I don't take trades that involve his auto attacks, like if I'm only getting hit by his Q and never his auto attacks, which is basically how you want to play this, how you want to play this lane out. As long as you do that, then there's really not much you can do. Because he doesn't have enough mana to poke you out. And again, you just spam Q. <laughs> So walk away, he's got almost no mana left, and I still have three potions. Get a nice little poke on him, tag him again, keep popping potions here. So he's fully out of mana and he's popped all of his potions. I have ignite, I have rage built up, I can look to kill. He's got no wards, no wards. It, it's gonna come right now, we're good. He's gonna push out. Just wait for it. You'll be good, man. We got. I got you. I'll take that. It's worth it all day. Force out his flash for this guy just showing. That's basically what we got. So I had to initiate with the dash because Pantheon wasn't really in a good spot to actually finish that play. So I can back right now, but there's really no sense because he has no mana. So I'm under no real threat here. And all, all you have to do in this matchup is get to level 6. So there's no reason for me to back. Because it gives him the potential just to uh, push out the wave himself. And then look to back. And then he gets full mana. And then I have to restart all over again. And worry about my health again and all that crap. So this way, I can just keep him here. Even though we're both in a situation where we're probably not likely to kill the other. But I can get some damage on him. Unfortunately, I missed the creep. Super low. Can look to dive at 6. Looking for that creep. Again, I have ignite, so dive potential is always there. Tag him with that Q. Now I'm just gonna run up and try and bait out his stun. So I'm gonna press my W. Oh, no, no. So you want this ignite too, but I'm pretty sure I'm fine. All right. Yeah, I was gonna try and bait, but then he just stood there. So I got my stun down, and yeah, I just threw ignite on him because he didn't have his block up. So yeah, pretty pretty free kill. 
And let's go like this. Get one potion. I don't think I need more. I think I don't have to actually build a ninja tabby. I'm really not that afraid of this guy. I honestly feel like the cloth armor is more than enough. I, I just think this matchup is easy. I've literally done the same exact thing starting with everything. I've done Doran's Blade starts and I've done the same thing. So I've, I, you can survive this matchup with one health potion and no cloth armor if you want. It, it's really not that difficult. You just have to main, like the whole key, remember, is to spam your Q out. Whether it hits him or not, that doesn't really matter that much. Spam your Q out as much as you can. That way you get as much healing back as possible. And then you just don't take fights with him where you auto attack trade. So like I'm never walking up to him to like auto attack. If he does this shit, I just walk away, you know? And then I'm gonna look to all in in a second here once I build up rage. And again, I'm just trading his mana for my health. He literally blew half of his health pool for that shit. And I'm not gonna spam Q here because I don't really want to push the wave. I can drop one like that though, since the wave's nice and built up. Nice and juicy. So I want to trim some of these. He's in a really bad position because he has to overextend to try and get any of these farm. So I want to trim a little bit. And we want to keep them up here. But walk behind my creeps. There we go. Alright. Easy peasy. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, he's just still sitting really far back. I built up all the rage, so I'm even stronger now. So it's going to be even harder for him to fight me. Basically, I'm just trying to get him to walk up. And once he does, I'm going to all-in him with ult and my phage. And there's no way he can run away. Oh, that was lame. Oh, do I lose? Nah. I would win the trade, but he's going to get Q up really soon. And I don't want to get auto queued. So I'm just going to wait until I have dash to dash Q the wave. So I'm going to hide in the bush first. This stupid shield, man. I thought I autoed it once already. I just got a ward first and we're good. Okay, dude. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> I just W'd first because the range is uh, larger, so I could just block it right away and then kill him with the next auto instead of like running up on him in the bush and then auto Wing. It's basically the same thing, but. I just think it's a little bit better. Do it the way I did. Shove this in and look to back. Oh, actually, he doesn't have TP. Yeah, they have a Rengar. Oh, Rengar's not bot. God, I'm so undecide indecisive right now. I could have gotten this tower if I was more decisive. I didn't know where Rengar was, so it was right to move away until I saw him. But then I saw him, I should have came back. This guy's level 5, so I don't have to worry about him jumping on me. Which is really important. Uh, clear out that wave and leave. We can maybe even do this because I can ward here and Rengar was bot side. And it's like really nice timing because I just shoved this wave so he's dealing with that. So he can't really roam on us. Plus he's not level 6. Nice. So I'm backing so I'll definitely try to tank a little bit here. Don't do it. Don't do it! Okay. I'm just gonna sprint back top and just dash Q this wave. Pantheon's gonna six. Pantheon's gonna six them. So I might just I might just push the top tower. The problem is if he ults me, then I'm in like a super bad spot. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm too nervous to keep pushing. Like I have flash up, so <sighs> I don't know. It's a weird spot. Because they have a Rengar too. I think I'm supposed to back. Yeah. All I have to do is stay in the creeps. Oh, that sucks, balls. <laughs> you fucking idiot. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> All I have to do is uh, Q as he's in the air. And it's going to give me the heal before he lands and does his damage. Because it's like a, it's a jump, right? So as he's in the air, my Q is a circle AoE. So as he hits here... Right? As he's hitting right here, I'm hitting him with my Q and he's in the air. Plus, I'm hitting Pantheon. So, that's a really stupid play by him. Finish it off with one, one auto attack and he's done, though. So, thanks for the kill, bud. <laughs> uh, I had to commit a little bit harder on the dash. Like, I had to... Okay, I'll show you what I had. I had a potential to, like, dash E away. Like, okay, so I did my first dash through Rengar and then he starts running this way, right? I was supposed to walk forward more after that first dash, so I could queue up the second one to dash away. But I got too afraid of the big circle here, and I started playing like... 
I started playing against the big circle too early, and I think I could have gotten the kill on Rengar and then dash, dashed away and then flashed instantly. That was another thing I fucked up on. I didn't flash before Pantheon. I let Pantheon flash before me, so he got the stun first. So swap that order, and I think we would have been good. Now I can just drop this. But yeah, the whole thing is I just had to stay in my minions. They're going to help me out and kill that guy. And then I have, like, rage built up, and I have ult, so in reality, I'm, like, under next to no threat there. Okay. So I dropped a pink. I can look to move into the jungle. Yeah, Rengar is on bot side. I wonder if his red's up. I really doubt it. <laughs> Why would it be up? But might as well check, man. Why not? I can come behind this guy in mid lane, too. And he might potentially come over here. Nope. He's going toward drag. They're all heading bot. He's kind of dead. Is this guy shoving mid? Uh, no, there's no wave there. If there was a wave mid, I think the play is to push mid with him. And try and do something. Because then it forces them out of bot, bot wave back to mid. Because obviously mid tower is super important. And I'm not just going to give it up for free. But whatever, I'm just going to run back to land. Problem is, he's going to come drop a ward and might clear out my pink. Which would really suck. I don't know if I can fight for it yet. Yeah, I can fight for it. He's afraid. Honestly, if I was him, I'm throwing a spear there at least. Can't let me for free just walk up and not get any damage off. I mean, I know I'm just going to heal it back up off of creeps relatively soon, but... Drop an E on me as I walk up and then Q and walk away. If I decide to dash at you, you know, something like that. I gotta be a little careful for their all-in, though. So anytime this guy starts getting, like, weirdly aggressive, I should be careful. Because that's gonna signal that Rengar is nearby. So, like, look how, look how afraid he's playing right now. So anytime he just gets, like, oddly aggressive and starts, like, moving toward me, I know Rengar's coming. In all honesty, I feel, I feel like I can just kill both of them, but... There's no reason to not hit this. I don't know what he was, what he thought was gonna happen there, but yeah. This guy can't fight me either. I can face check him and kill him. I have so much rage right now, they just can't do anything to me. I'm gonna pretend like I'm afraid, and then he might do something stupid like that. <laughs> Is that enough? Oh! Is it enough? It's enough. Dubstep Ignite! There it is, boys. Easy peasy. Like I said, it was gonna be. That's why you just. Oh shit! I could have finished my back, dude. I could have finished it. I could have finished it! Ah! Oh, why did I move? I could have finished it. I think I could have finished it. I don't know. You guys, you guys can rewind it and figure it out. I think I could have finished it. Did I have enough time? I don't know. You'll tell me in the comment section. <laughs> It'd be something like, Mike, you dumbass, you had plenty of time. <laughs> Come on, man. I think I could have finished it, dude. It was so close to the end. I was just like looking off of my screen reading Twitch chat and I saw it. So I started trying to move right away. Nah, you don't think I could? You don't think so? I don't know, man. I don't know. It was close. It was definitely close. All right, I'm going I'm to run back up top. Doing quite well now. Turning it up a little bit. Gotta make up for it the last couple games. God damn. Their bot lane's doing pretty well, but we have really good scaling with Jinx and... Oh, dude, look at all of our scaling. What the fuck? Dude, our team's gonna be really good. Most important thing is that Bai just builds tank after this. I, I should probably tell her. Bai, can you get tank after? I'll go big dick damage. And you spell damage like that too. <laughs> when you wait. Right. Shove this in. I don't see anybody, so I'm gonna ward and as I as I drop that ward you wanna be moving away. Just to make sure no one comes and kills you. I can all in one of the tower. 
Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want. I don't. Uh, actually, I can get stunned. I don't think it matters. All I had to do is bait out his stun first, and then I win. The way he, the, the only way, only hope he has there is if he gets two stun or two shield uh, block procs off. But if I force his stun out before I do anything, then I win. What he's trying to do there is let me stun, and then uh, he stuns after. That way, the tower aggro's. But as long as I just press my W, walk up like I'm gonna hit him, he's gonna try and stun me, and then I can just use my stuff after. Then I just auto W, and he's dead because he has no chance of getting a new shield. Uh, this guy literally insta dies, so I'm just gonna wait right here and kill him. If he turns. Oh, no. Oh, his red's gone. Win. What? You just press the skew. I feel like, uh, what's his face is gonna come on me? Just man drop all over my face. I don't really want that to happen, so. I wanna pull this back into this bush. That way I can spot if someone's coming. Might be done. Yeah. Fuck. Hmm. I didn't get a double dash, and that was probably the biggest thing. I thought I could just dash flash, and hmm. I needed to, when I was right here. I needed to walk like one step, and then dash. So I'm dashing through him, so I get that second dash. And then my dashes are probably looking like so. I'm here, and I walk step back, dash, dash, and then I'm going from here. I can potentially flash, and then I'm probably not dying. Or at least it's much harder. I don't think I would die if I played it like I just said. I think I could have been able to flash out pretty easily. Because this guy had to like flash. He like uses E and flash and then barely had. Like he just had to auto me at the end after he used all of his gap closers. So if I used my stuff better I would have one additional uh, escape over his gap closers. So I, I, I think I would have been able to get out. I just needed to get that double dash through. Also should have identified what the fuck was happening earlier. This guy who is like ridiculously weak, who I've been killing over and over again, walks into my bush after he wards it and knows I'm in there, and he still walks in. <laughs> Something should be going off in my head telling me, warning, warning, this is a bait, you idiot. <laughs> like, definitely need that, like, the retard alert to start going off. Uh, typical SRO minion, SRO cannon. Never lucky. I'm just gonna keep pushing out this lane. Alright, mid's missing. I'm just gonna steal jungle. Deny extra resources. I'm gonna use my E through the creep and go toward mid as well. Hydra first, obviously. This could mean he's coming here. I wanna pull it back. In case he comes to try and steal it. Nope, he's in mid. Alright. Didn't need that second dash. Just wasted a... Uh... Ooh. Should set up around this. I want to get a ward up here. That's the crucial one. Bloop. Wow, pink wards everywhere. This is a free tower. Good job, my friend. Now let's make our move back over here and contest red. Whoa! The Rangoon. Yeah, people just need to be more careful. It's the biggest thing. You can't really do anything about that. Just gotta be more careful. It's a Rangar. You gotta, you gotta know it's a Rangar. Play accordingly. Just gotta know it's a Rangar and play accordingly. This should be a kill. Oh, you have ult? I didn't get my second dash, so I'm gonna die. That's unfortunate. Oh, I didn't get the Q off before he flashed. I could have got him. Ugh. Yeah, it was not good though. He needed to. If he's gonna ult, he's gotta do it fast. He can't wait for the guy to run away before he ults. He's just letting him close distance between his team. If he like, all he had to do is like dash and then ult, and I can just chain stun off of it and we kill the guy like right here. Ooh, good try. But yeah, then we kill the guy like right up in their jungle, and it's yeah, a much better play. I think I might want dead. 
to sweep out and deny vision. I think it's probably better. Uh, what do we got here? E2, day 5, Rengar, gonna carry. Definitely want to stay 5 here. I'm gonna even grab another pink ward. So I want to place one and then have one for Rengar. Like, my options here, I, like, I can split push bottom. That's, like, a pretty decent thing to do, but... I don't think my team wins the 4v5, because all of them are, like, negative right now. So... Not too sure. The thing is, they can... Mm. Nice. Some good damage. I'm looking I'm looking for Rengar. If I find him, that's good. I'm just nervous that they're going to all in us in mid. And I'm not going to be there. That'll definitely. All right, so we gotta leave because Rengar and uh, what's his face are coming. We have to give up drag here. The guy got like stunned under, under the tower and he just died, <laughs> straight up, just died. All right, I really want to go top and clear out this giant wave. Yeah. Wards. Wards. Need wards. Solo never gets a cannon minion only. Back at it again. <laughs> Just gonna keep pushing out this wave. Uh, I see Rengar bot, so I don't really have much to worry about. Unless they send all four, I think, which would kind of suck, but... Just gonna keep high rage, and they have two mid, so I know where three are right now. And they can't 2v1 two two me, so... Just gonna keep pushing. Drop a ward here. Nice, clear this out. Gotta back up because I don't see anybody in mid. My team should be looking to take the uh, dragon off my pressure. So they want to be in that area. I have to be careful since Cassidy is backing. Okay, I see Rengar so I can show again. Rengar is like the main person I'm scared of. Alright, I got a really good trade there. Now I just walk away. Pop my ghost blade just in case. There's our free dragon when they send four people. And easy peasy, we get away. Okay, my pink ward pays off. 75 gold for a dragon. Worth. And I stay alive. Okay, so gonna repeat the same thing. Just gonna go place the pink ward back down. Probably wanna sweep first, actually. Oh, JK. It's just all dying. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, I can't do much about that if my team's just gonna die. Really not too much that can be done in that situation. They just die every time. They're just getting caught. It's, it, that wasn't even like Rengar ulting. They just got caught by like a fucking Anivia stun. I don't know. Like super late game will be okay, but we just have to get there, which is really hard. I don't know how we wave clear, ever. So, basically I have to give up every tower. <laughs> I have flash. Okay, whatever. Jinx got some kills, worth it. Let's push up the mid lane, baby. I have flash still, so I can potentially make a big player. Top showing out, but we have some time. Hey, he's looking in mid lane. They're wreck noob. <laughs> Dashed over this wall. I didn't even see him. He's staring at mid. I get flash, but I don't know. Oh my god, man. Come on. They don't respect the Anivia and they just get shit on by her. It's kind of ridiculous. Just walk away. Try to get as much damage down as we can. Bot lane, top lane need to be cleared. So I'm gonna run bot lane. Maybe this is up. Kind of 
kite it down. And take it down. All right, sweet. Grab this bot farm, shove out bot lane, and probably back. Not probably, definitely back. Spend my gold. Looking good, baby. Current rank. I'm in like flat three right now. Plat 3, 0 LP. Like a 60-something percent win rate. Um, an okay win rate. A reasonable win rate. I mean, it's not like I've been spamming Renekton the whole time. If I was, I would obviously hope for a much better win rate. I might do like a unrank the diamond where I just spam Renekton. I think that would be kind of fun. And like edit those videos. I don't know. I think that would be pretty, pretty dope. But yeah, I'm in a good spot right now. Let's see. Really want to set up around Baron. That's like our... Because we can do it so fast. Because even our support does a shit ton of damage. And then everybody else has like percent damage stuff. So. Like my good. Nice. Try and clear out as much vision as we can. The more we, the more we put this in darkness, the harder it is for them. Cause then they have to like, yeah, like then they have to like face check shit like this. That's just annoying, dude. Jesus Christ! Can we just jump on this kid? Like this is ridiculous. That's what I mean. Like what? I'm dead though. <laughs> Literally flashed, got the kill, immediately bubbled. Pretty unfortunate. Jinx is untouched right now, but she's not getting any damage off. That sucks. Ugh, oh my god, dude. You need to do the engages when they're like in the open though. That's like the biggest thing. Like when this guy was like right here, that's when that's when like we need Vi going in. And engaging. It's kind of unfortunate, man. Right as I flash, the bubble comes down, and then I'm like Wing, so it's like I can't even dodge it. Like I did, I did E, but like it, I got hit by the bubble as I E'd, so like I finished my E and I was still bubbled, so it like didn't really matter. And then I'm just stuck in the middle of the team, eating up a, uh, eating up a full ultimate from Lucian, which really hurts. I mean, I have Ninja Tabby, but it's not like I have anything else. I'm probably gonna snag. I don't know. I need to get something else. Need to get a defensive item. I'm not sure which one. The thing is, I need some magic resist too. So it's like, yeah, I don't really know. Most efficient thing might just be since I have life steal as well. It might just be to get spirit visage because I'll CDR cap off of spirit visage, which is obviously good. And then I'll still get magic resist, but it's also still going to give me health, which is important too. That's what I mean, that's just gonna happen every time. And then the times that he doesn't do that and he actually fights back, it just means Rengar's there. Alright. Let's clear out this next wave too. And get my ass down to the dragon. Because it's the next objective that's up. Coming down. Oh wow, never mind. It's baby fetus and it like dies instantly. I don't know, let's be real, we're probably not contesting that anyways. Yeah, let's try and sneak a red. Nope. I have been spotted. My plan has been foiled. There's a, a ward over here, but it's about to die. Just gonna make sure I obviously don't get spotted as I rotate back around. If he was smart, he would have replaced the ward up here. Might be a little scary to face check it. Oh, that was stupid. He just got his... Mm, that was done by me. Looking for the rain guy. No luck. Shove out the wave. Steal some farm. That's really all I can do right there. Uh oh. They're getting in a bad fight. Map. 
So he needs to die fast. He's like all inning one guy in between their entire team in an unwarded jungle while they have Baron, while our Jinx is on our bot side, while our, like, no one's near you and you're trying to make these ridiculous plays, dude. What do you expect is going to happen? Oh, God. He did not start building tank. He built a Triforce when I told him to build tank. It was bad. All I have to do is queue up the dash as he jumps on me, and I can get away. I'm just trying to bait out stuff. There's really not much I'm going to do in this situation in terms of killing them. Wow, W animation is super fun. <laughs> Yikes. Grab up some of this. Just keep farming. That's really all we can do. Potentially trying to make a play on this guy, but he's going for top. He's trying to run up here. It's kind of risky. Oh, what? Did they counter themselves? We're going to leave that. We're getting surrounded. Got the exhaust. Just by being here, forces this guy to play so different. But All right, never mind. We're good. Don't worry. Don't worry about a thing, boys. I got this. <laughs> God damn, dude. Shove this wave out. Looking good. Do one more. It's like halfway up here. God damn. Yeah, the ignite was just like fuck. Oh, I mean, I had no, I had no other way of getting to him. So I just ignited the Pantheon in case the other guy could. I don't know why. I mean, he's, he's already dead. From the other guy was gonna be able to kill him. But I don't know. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, right? Plus, I didn't know if I was getting a Penta right there. That shit looked close. Okay. Now I go like this, or do I want the CDR? Hold up. How do I have CD? Oh, it's because I have... Okay. I think I'm going to go like this instead. So I can CDR cap, plus it, it, the synergy with my lifesteal, obviously. And it's just a really good item overall. <laughs> Get health, you know. I want another defensive item, so the choices are really between Maw and Spear Visage. Those are like the two options here. Basically, I need a flash on Lucian every fight. The thing is, like, we have Catherine, so eventually we're going to get to the point where she can jump on Lucian and actually kill. Okay, all I have to do is just make sure we're staying together. There's no way he can jump. Oh, he's jumping over here. Because this guy is by himself! Why? Why, Cassiopeia? I don't understand. It's a fucking Rangar you're against. Come on, how many times you gotta die to this shit? You have eight deaths, dude. Jesus. How many more do you need before you figure out what Rangar does? Like, what? Ridiculous. Good poke, Jinx. They have Nami, so it doesn't matter much, but whatever, worth it. Yeah. As long as we don't get caught by stun, that's like the only thing that matters. That was a decent opportunity to jump on, uh, jump on the Anivia. Cast support works. Oh, not when this guy plays it. <laughs> but I don't even care about the pick, dude. It's just the positioning. You're in the wrong spot every time. You could be on any hero you want. You're still going to fuck that up. Like, being on Cassiopeia doesn't mean, I don't know, dude. His positioning is just garbage. He's literally in the wrong spot at all times. Pretty rough. All we want to do here is push them back toward mid and then we can rotate to this tower. That's all we have to do. Um, they actually were smart and saw it coming. But we can always fade back to Dragon here too. This is another good thing. And now I have Rage, so my class is looking better. 
Dude, four stop five stack from him. That's really good. No more five stack ferocity. BS. This is up, so we can always fall back to that. We have that first up. I think we want to. I think. Uh, we can catch him in a choke here. No, it's not worth it because they have vision here. We're going to get a really bad fight in their jungle. No. Not in jungle. Dude, no one cares about top lane. Like, who cares? There's a big wave there. We all see it. You're not going to, like, run there and get to it. Yeah, over here. Over here. Contest blue. Contest blue. Contest blue. Contest blue. Blue slash bot lane. Fortunately, I couldn't catch the whole wave. Dude, no one fucking cares about the top lane. Who cares? Oh boy, they got a top tower. Like, who actually cares? Is he gonna face check this shit? Dude, fuck off! God. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> watch, everybody's gonna leave, someone's gonna get caught, and they're gonna get Elder Dragon. Look, just walk away now, because Vanguard's gonna come and kill everybody. The whole thing is not getting caught now, while this guy clears. We gave up our adv advantageous position for like next to no reason to clear like a big wave top, when it's just like, who fucking cares about that wave, dude? Let's like win the game. Let's get Elder Dragon, man. It's just like sitting here for free. Clearing again. Shove out mid. Dude, we can just like legit pull this. I don't know why everybody's so afraid. Like, all we have to do is come up here and drop wards down. Like we drop wards there. There you go. And now we can do this shit. Like what? Look, you just bait the shit right here. Look, 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 look. Right, back, 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 back. Stay together. That's all we gotta do. Perfect. Okay. Now they have no Rengar ult. Like this is the dream. If they're smart, they've shoved mid. Like they're screwing around. What they should be doing is pushing mid. Cause now we get a nice little advantage here. I'm gonna pop my ult. Just so I can build up some bridge. Cause I'm gonna be flashing on top of uh, the solution. There it is. Good job. I have a dash. Slow. It's done. There it is. Coming back. Good job, dude. Push right for bot lane. Good job. Nice plays all around, boys. Jesus. What is so depressing, Jinx, that you're like 1 and 8 and getting carried? That is kind of depressing. Alright, nice. Got a turret. Let's steal some jungle, go back, spend all of our gold. Looking great. Full build. How I like it. Whew. All right, dude. Late game, we get good. All right. Now all we have to do is sit up, Baron. And uh, Bay Baron, and we're good to go. Good to go. Dude, I have a billion farm. Okay, I have a 200 CS lead. Um, yeah. Can't do anything. He's over here. You know what side he's on because of... Uh, because I had my ward here, and then I, I still saw the mark. They can't do anything, eh? You can just take this. 
He already used his jump to come in once. I don't know why he's trying to finish it. It's at like 13k. He made me look at it though. Made me look. There it is. The nice chain slow. Run it right down mid. We should be able to end the game off of that. Well played, boys. Just gotta wait till late game when my team can do stuff. And then we just have to stay together. That's really all this game was. God damn. But it's kind of stressful because they were all doing really bad at the beginning. It's actually questionable whether we're going to make it to the late game. But people stopped dying one by one to Rengar. And then he, yeah. And then he just like fell off and did nothing. Because as long as you stay together as five, what is Rengar going to do? You get alerted to where he's going to be from like a fucking mile away. So GG, well played. Good game, boys. A little bit rough, but hey, we, we took it down in the end. So let's check some damage meters, see what was good. If I'm not number one, I'm going to be mad. Oh, hell yeah. Of course, of course. Give me another mastery token. 27 LP. I'll take that all day. Yeah, number one in damage. You know what it is. Ignore Anivia. Number one in damage on my team. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. I'll get you guys then. Come on, man. 200 CS lead. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> GG well played. Peace.